Travis Wayne Goodzo. Uh, <clears throat> Nelson has a post up today about uh, uh, LGBTQ bashing. They identify as LGBTQ. Nelson instead gets up and says, true identity. And this is this is bigotry <clears throat> because he's doing incorrect identification himself on top of it. He says that uh, we're all children of God, children of the covenant. And disciple of who? Mm hmm. Yeah. Jesus. When you say God, it's too general. You have to clarify. And in these war of words, bashing back and forth, bigotry bashing, it must be clear to Mormons that if you're going to have dialogue with critics and critics if you're going to have dialogue with Mormons you have to have a shared understanding of words you cannot use the same word and mean something else with it that will cause horrifying results because uh, Mormons go out and claim they're Christian. Christians say no. And so there needs to be some basic fundamental knowledge that is shared with not only critics but the rest of the world. One, what we currently have is not the same as the original. The Joseph Smith papers, are you paying attention to them? Are you reading them? Are you going over them? Are you comparing them? You will find that the originals are completely different than what we have today. Then you find out, well, who made the change? It wasn't Joseph. It was after he was dead. Hmm. So who had authority to change? Nobody. That's another thing that needs to be understood. When Joseph Smith was murdered, so too ended his church. Brigham Young was not the true successor. We need to come to an understanding of that. Brigham Young was a branch off just like all the others who branched off. You will not find any justification for him to be successor. So the Wikipedia page needs to be changed. Brigham Young is the first president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We cannot have discussions if you're going to disagree. The Joseph Smith Papers tells us all this. If you're going to argue that no, no, you're going against the documents. They are the evidence. And what Mormons are doing, and even ex-Mormons are falling prey to in their own special way, are not going to the primary source documents. When you talk about Joseph Smith as to whether or not he was polygamist, you don't go to um, rough stone rolling, uh, I can't remember her name, <clears throat> but any author that was anybody writing in journals etc what that is called is hearsay 
It is not evidence. If a woman claims Joseph Smith had sex with her because he was married to her, her word is hearsay. Now the evidence, can anybody guess what the evidence would be? A baby. Yeah. There are no babies. There are no evidence. And so to perpetuate either way, yes, Joseph Smith was, but he never did, or yes, he was, he's horrible, child, etc. You're perpetuating lies. You're not communicating properly. Now, I know most of you have not studied the Socratic method of communication, of argument, especially Mormon apologists who love to use fallacy, specifically the ad hominem. <clears throat> and so it's, it, it's difficult for people to understand that when you make a case, it's based on the way we had to construct our reports in grade school. Start with a thesis, and you then do the sections in between for each of the various steps, and then the conclusion. That's based upon the Socratic method of argument, because they're trying to teach you in school how to argue a point correctly by doing a report on something. And you can't leave out information. If uh, members of the church don't want to acknowledge that <clears throat> Joseph Smith had different names for the church. It wasn't the Church of Jesus Christ at all. No Jesus. There were Jesus in the Book of Mormon. There's Jesus in Doctrine and Covenants passages. There are some. You gotta check the Joseph Smith papers. There are some doozies. <clears throat> I'd love to spend long videos talking about them. But, uh, <clears throat> but if you're going to assume that the current texts are correct, you know, Moroni, no, Nephi. But the church perpetuates Moroni by putting Moroni on the temples and horn gets knocked down during an earthquake. <clears throat> it's supposed to be Nephi. It was changed after Joseph Smith was assassinated. And those kinds of things are necessary to know when the changes took place. To know and understand who's making those changes. It's not other church branch offs. It's Brigham's branch that are making these changes. And, <clears throat> and so Mormons need to understand this. That when you're going to the Kirtland Temple to visit, and you're going to ask, where's the baptismal font? Why aren't you wearing the magic underwear? It's just, they laugh at you, because it was all Brigham. <clears throat> and especially the endowment ceremony, with the Freemasonry stuff merged in. Brigham. Brigham's church is not the same as the other branch offs. He created it because it's not from the core. It's not from the foundation. And it's frustrating to try to tell Mormons this. You grow up, you think you're the one true succession, and you're not. Nobody is. Maybe you'll end up with a faith crisis. That's the point. But it's going to be harder for you if you don't do your own research to find the truth. If you're just going to all of a sudden get hit with it from listening to my video, can you hear? I doubt it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I didn't. It's going to be easier for you if you are searching for the truth 
rather than all of a sudden getting hit with it like a brick wall. <clears throat> and so when you hear critics, ex-Mormons, and they do their video, why I'm no longer Mormon, uh, you can tell who didn't bother to do their own research and study and who ran into that brick wall versus those who, well, I don't know very many who actually did their study. <laughs> the majority of them hit the brick wall. And that's one of the problems, is that Mormons are lazy learners, like Nelson told you you are. And you become an ex-Mormon once that final straw is broken with you, that you can't explain and it's too much for you to handle. You need to do the research, constantly studying. If you're going to remain Mormon, you got to do it. <clears throat> and you got to do it properly. You don't go to Fawn Brody as a primary source, because she's not. She's a secondary or thirdary source. And in most cases, she's a thirdary source if she's quoting a person who wrote it in her journal. Authors are not source references. Wikipedia has that all wrong. So, you know, talking about uh, the Searstone class looking for his arrest, they don't have the court document. There's a court document. That's the primary source. Put it in Wikipedia. Let everybody see it. That church won't let him. So, understand that the church purposely is not wanting Mormons to learn the correct information, even though they make it available. So, that common understanding of knowledge is essential for any proper communication.